So welcome to the Skoda Superb Estate. Now, there's never been such an aptly named car as the Skoda Superb because it really is quite superb. So much so that it's again won the overall title for the Caravan and Motorhome Tow Car of the Year 2021, which is no mean feat. This year, obviously, we had to do a virtual competition, but it still came out as a hugely, hugely strong and popular tow car. Let's take a look and see what, uh, what you get for your money. So the first thing you notice when you get into the Superb is how spacious it feels. There's loads of room in here and even somebody over six foot will be able to get a decent driving position. There's good um, adjustment in the steering wheel, rake, rake and reach, and there's good adjustment in the seat as well. There's also lumbar support as well. So somebody with a bad back, you're gonna get a nice comfortable driving position. Moving on to the steering wheel, it's all leather clad in this one. This one is the SEL version. So you get a leather steering wheel and leather seats as standard. Now, what I really like about this is got these nice little rotary dials that just are so easy to use. What I also really like about it is the integrated infotainment system. It's very colorful and the graphics are really good on it. Obviously, you've got your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and uh, your DAB radio and sat nav and everything in there. But it's really easy to use, very intuitive, and it's a really simple system. So then moving further down and you've got all the heating controls and they're nice, big, chunky dials, easy to read digital displays. So you don't have to take your eyes off the road. You know exactly what you're doing. If you do want to do it on the touchscreen, you just press this button and it all comes up and you can see where your air is going to. You've got heated seats in here as well. It comes with the leather pack and there's decent storage in here. You get a decent size um, uh, door bin in the doors here. There's a very decent size uh, cubby here that is actually um, air conditioned. There's also a USB point in there as well. And there's a, a decent size glove box too. So moving on into the back here, and you can see I've got absolutely loads of room. This seat is set for somebody of six foot driving, so it's uh, I've got ample leg room and head room. There's not an awful lot going on in the back here. It does have these storage pockets for tablets or magazines, what have you. And there's little pockets on the sides of the seats here. There is a pull down armrest, which has a pull out cup holder and uh, there are two sets of Isofix fittings on each of the outer seats. Sitting in the middle, you do have quite a bit uh, transmission tunnel, but there's enough um, foot space either side of it that it's actually not that bad. And it's a reasonably comfortable seat to sit in. So even if you have got the, the you are the third person in the middle, it's not gonna be an uncomfortable journey. So moving to the back, now the Superb comes with a electric tailgater standard. This one has an optional virtual pedal. So you just move your foot underneath it and it'll open. That's a 160 pound option. Now, as you can see, the boot is huge. It's um, 660 litres with the seats in place. That rises to 1,950 litres with the seats folded down. There's lots of stowage in here as well. There's a big cubby here, uh, another one on this side, and lots of hooks. You can pull these carry hooks out. These flip the seats down, but these are a 95 pound option, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but you can put those both down very, very easily. If not, you have to do them at the top of the, of the seats. Unfortunately, it doesn't go totally flat, although you can get the optional variable flooring for this, which then you would have a complete flat load. Also, this one has got the electric tow bar. To get that, you just pull this lever and out it pops. And I think that's a really nice idea to have it on the scuff plate because it's not very intrusive and everything. To put it back in, just lift it up again and push it up to lock it into space. Very, very easy and simple. Our 
test car is the popular 2-litre TDI diesel two-wheel drive in an SEL trim. This engine has served many a past tow car of the year winner in many guises, so it's definitely tried and tested. It puts out 148 bhp and has 360 newton meters of torque. Our car had the seven-speed DSG gearbox, which again is such a winning combination. The shift is smooth and is seamless, and it makes driving a joy. Once on the road, and the superb doesn't disappoint. The light, precise steering and great all-round visibility make the superb well suited for navigating through busy towns. And the standard front and rear parking sensors make it a doddle to park. However, a rear view reversing camera is a worthwhile option, especially when hitching. Now there's no denying that the Superb is a big car and it's built for comfort. However, it handles really well, there's very little body roll in evidence and coupled with decent grip and accurate steering, it really does deliver a fairly spirited drive. But it is on the motorway where the Superb is, well, just quite superb really. It wafts along beautifully, costing you and your passengers from any unwanted road noise. And the rutted services won't upset this family cruiser, as the suspension does a grand job of cushioning those lumps and bumps. I was expecting great things from the Superb when towing, and I'm happy to say that I wasn't disappointed. Hitching was simple, helped by the optional rear view camera, and the electrics were easily located. Towing mirrors were also really easy to attach. After the merest of tugs as I pulled away, this was soon forgotten once up to speed and actually on the road. The car and the van were just in unison, being stable and secure at all times. And the mighty 2-litre TDI engine took everything in its stride. There was also plenty of power on tap when I needed to overtake, and there was no buffeting when passing lorries. And at times, I really did forget that I was towing. Also, running your Skoda Superb Estate won't break the bank. I managed a rather respectable towing figure of 33.1 mpg, whilst achieving 50.9 mpg for my solo driving. So, does the Skoda Superb Estate deserve its title? Well, resoundingly, yes it does. It does everything so well, it drives well, it tows well, there's plenty of passenger space, there's plenty of luggage space. I don't know quite what more you'd want from a car. It's absolutely spot on. So if you're thinking of changing your tow car or renewing your tow car, take a look at the Skoda Superb Estate. You'll be in for a big surprise.